When it comes to bounty hunts in Red Dead Online, you know that legendary bounties are the best way to farm gold and money as these are ultra intense but ultra high paying missions that seriously reward you for your efforts. But what if you're just looking to chill and do some laid back grinding? That is where the Edda Doyle legendary bounty strategy comes into play. If you have trouble completing legendary bounties or you just want a consistent and 100% reliable method to make gold and money fast and easy from these bounties, then you've come to the right place. With the Christmas update and December event to Red Dead Online this month, Rockstar changed the Legendary Bounty and Infamous Bounty payouts for gold, money, and XP, and they're tripling these rewards all month long, and so today I figured it was the perfect time to jump in with a fun live gameplay of the Edda Doyle mission and see just how much money we can make. I appreciate all the support recently on the live gameplays I post, and so if there's any major changes to missions or activity payouts or just missions or content that you want to see me play live here on the channel, then definitely let me know in those comments. There's a few strategies and tips I also have to make this mission as easy and enjoyable as possible for you, so let's get into it, shall we? If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So if you guys are looking to make absolutely boatloads of money and gold in Red Dead Online, either with the triple bounty hunter for legendary bounties and infamous bounties, the triple rewards for gold and money, or just normal when these missions aren't on bonus, the key to being as efficient as possible and making the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time, but also basically with the least amount of effort is selecting the Edda Doyle Legendary Bounty. She was one of the original 10 Legendary Bounties that released with the Frontier Pursuits update. She was part of the drip feed. She didn't come right when the update came out, but she arrived a little bit later on in subsequent weeks. And if you start this mission on tier five or five star difficulty, there's a little trick to make a lot of money very fast. And so we're gonna get into this. So that's the intro cutscene to the Edda Doyle Legendary Bounty. And without even touching your controller, you could see your character starts walking and facing this sign that says no smoking near freight, storage base four to six. You came in from this entrance here. That's where Edda Doyle is gonna be um, also entering the premises and basically what you're gonna want to do is run over here basically to these open doors to this stockade you're gonna run down here and you're gonna find this little cave or basically it's just like a tunnel and where it leads essentially is just out to uh, the Lanahichi River I think over here at the Sandini docks you can see on the map kind of where we are uh, this is where Ed uh, Edda Doyle enters the property, this is where you go into the building, and this is where the tunnel leads. This is where you are in San Denis. We're going to be delivering her to jail over here pretty soon. But basically, you're just going to chill. You don't want to hang outside the property for too long. But Edda Doyle is going to appear. You could see her on the map down there. And her goons, as well as Edda Doyle herself, they're going to be searching the property. And you just want to stay out of sight. I used to hide in different places, but this is definitely the easiest one. You don't need to worry about not you know finding out who she is even though the game tells you in the cutscene like look out for the scar on her right cheek she's got three basically imposters dressed exactly like her and you won't be able to tell which one they are one of the recent updates actually changed it so you can actually see <laughs> who she is right away that's her um it used to be you saw four skull icons you couldn't tell who was at a doyle our security guards actually just got knocked out here so they're chalked they're gonna search the premises right here they're gonna search the property and you're gonna wait for about five minutes and then once that happens she's gonna say a voice line that says like it's a trap we got to get out of here let's move or something along those lines and that's when you go after her now I'm gonna fast forward to that part and then you could see how we capture her and get out of here basically without firing a single bullet sometimes her guards shoot at you sometimes they don't but honestly it's better than like all the enemy spawns that Rockstar program for the entire mission coming after you That's the voice line. When they start running and she says, quick, let's go. That's when you start running out of here. You're going to surprise her. Basically, all of her goons are going to run out with you. Uh, but no one's actually going to shoot at you. Like, some people are going to shoot at you and try and kill you. But they're just going to keep running. And so there really isn't that big of a deal to this. Some of them are going to run into you like this. It's pretty funny. They all kind of get caught up on each other. And they're all just trying to run. But the game, for some reason... Oh my god, my horse is just taking them out. I love that. The game doesn't actually register that you're like capturing her in the meantime. 
This mission right now is glitched, and it's been glitched, I think, since the Blood Money update, where you do see Etta Doyle's location right away. That used to not be a thing. You used to never actually know who she was um, until you came up close to her because she had four of the skull icons representing Etta Doyle herself, the legendary bounty target, and her imposters. But since then, it's kind of glitched out, and now you can actually see who she is right away, but you still employ this strategy so that you can go capture her without firing a single bullet. Sometimes these people will come after you, but it's not too big of a deal because you're so close to the sand in jail, and these enemies are about to turn around in like a very quick moment. See, they already turned back. And that's basically it. We are very, you know, we're super early on into this mission. We can either turn Edit Oil in, or we can wait for the 30 minutes to just see how much money, XP, and gold we're going to make with the triple rewards. I want to do exactly that. I have about 24 and a half minutes left on my timer, and so I will see you guys then. Well, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long wait, but we have waited out the 30 minute timer for maximum payout with gold, money, and XP besides, you know, just the little XP you would have gotten for playing the mission and getting kills and things like that. So now it's time we pick up Edda Doyle. I threw her over here in the storage corner, the trash heap pile over here, just to make sure she can't escape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn her into that gold circle over there, turn her in and get our gold money and XP. This should be 1.44 gold bars and $675. This is the 30 minute method. I wouldn't really recommend you do this. This is just to showcase the maximum amount of money you can make, but I recommend you employ the 12 minute method, which is the most amount of gold, money, and XP you make in the shortest amount of time. The optimal way, the optimal way to make it, and that would be about $525, as well as, I forget how much gold, it would be .96 gold nuggets, because it would be 32 gold nuggets for 12 minutes of your time, 64 gold nuggets with double gold, and since it's triple gold, it would be 96 gold nuggets. So once we get back into the free room here, you guys will see the official payout. It's pretty nice. Again, 12 minutes is what I recommend, but if you're just looking to hop on like once in a day, since you have a 48 minute cooldown timer with these legendary bounties, say if you only have an hour to play or half hour to play, you might as well take 30 minutes for the mission. So $675, 1.54 gold bars because of that daily challenge we got, as well as 4,700 XP. So that is a pretty insane amount of gold money and XP in my opinion. This is definitely the easiest and most efficient way to make gold and money in the game when it comes to legendary bounties. I made a video on the Red Ben legendary bounty last week and you guys seem to enjoy that live gameplay. So we came out with an Edda Doyle basically cheesing method this week. We can also turn in this bounty hunter reward for 10,000 bounty hunter roll XP earned. We're going to trade that in. That should be $100 as well as 50 gold nuggets as well. That's pretty nice. If only that reward was tripled as well, that would be pretty sweet because that would have been 1.5 gold bars as well as $300. That would have been honestly insane to have. So that's basically it. I want to come out with some videos on some of the other top tier legendary bounties as well well as like Carmela Montez, Virgil Shepard Edwards, and Tobin Winfield. So let me know in the comments which one of those bounties you would like to see in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video here today, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with everything we post here on the channel. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.